four middle school students who school officials say ate cannabis-laced gummies are taken out of school and to the hospital. Tonight, officials want to know how those children got a hold of the edibles. Thursday night, the big story on Action News is this investigation into how several children at a New Jersey middle school got their hands on the edibles that made them sick. Yeah, the children showed up at school showing concerning symptoms and were taken to the hospital. New Jersey correspondent Trish Hartman now live for us from Pensacola with more on what happened. Trish. Well, sorry, Rick, school officials are still trying to figure out how those students got the gummies and when exactly they took them. But staff noticed that the students seemed to be under the influence yesterday and needed to be checked out. Valentine's Day at Pfeiffer Middle School in Pensacola ended with a trip to the hospital for a few students. My daughter says that um, she's, they saw like ambulances and uh, stretchers. The superintendent says one student brought gummies that contained marijuana from home and shared them with friends either before school or at school. Staff noticed four students seemed lethargic and glassy eyed and sent them to the nurse. From there, the nurse um, saw the students were slow to respond and they sent them directly to the hospital, what we were supposed to do. The students are expected to be fine, but Superintendent Dr. Ronnie Tarshishi now wants to increase security measures at the middle school. And we're going to have to check students for at the middle school now and for any type of candy that is not um, in a candy wrapper. He points to the fact that recreational marijuana is now legal in New Jersey for adults 21 and over and more easily accessible at state licensed dispensaries. And if parents do have that in their house, it should be in a secure location and students should not have access to it. School officials don't know exactly where these gummies came from. State regulations don't allow children in dispensaries without a parent or guardian, and advertisements cannot target those under 21. Dr. Jim Bailey from the Rowan Virtua School of Osteopathic Medicine says using marijuana as an adolescent definitely raises concerns. Cannabis can affect the developing areas of the prefrontal cortex, the hippocampus, and the amygdala, all which control executive functioning, cognition, memory. Now, Pensac and police are investigating, but they say they're waiting for lab results to verify exactly what the students ingested. The superintendent said any student caught bringing drugs to school will face suspension. Reporting live in Pensac, New Jersey, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. All right, Trish, thank you.